The purpose of this video is to show you how to change the defrost mode on the Keto Evaporator Efficiency Controller from a demand defrost to a scheduled defrost. The reason you would potentially need to do this would be on a brand new system installation where you need to charge the system with refrigerant. You, didn't, you wouldn't want the, the uh, controller to send the system into a defrost uh, while you're in that process, so put it into a scheduled defrost guarantees that it won't go into defrost for a certain amount of time, depending on the number of defrosts per day you have it set up for. So a quick and easy place to start uh, this process would be from a hole point. From the hole point basically is where the controller is <coughs> displaying the room temperature. To verify that you're at that point, you can hit the back button a couple of times to verify that the controller is displaying the room temperature. From there, you can scroll to the uh, top of the set points menu by pressing the right or left arrow buttons to scroll across the different menus. Once you're at the top of the set points menu, you can scroll up or down into that uh, column by pressing the up or down arrow buttons. When I press the down arrow button here, I have not entered my password yet, so it's prompted me to enter my password. So I'll hit the enter button one time in order to give me the opportunity to enter my password. You can press the, uh, the right and left arrow buttons to highlight the different characters that you need to change and you can press the up and down arrow buttons to actually change the value of the character. Press the and hold the enter button down for three seconds once your password is displayed. From there you can scroll again up or down now into the set points menu column. Again, we're looking to change the defrost mode, so we're looking for defrost mode to be displayed across the, uh, the controller. Once you see that display, press the enter button one time and it will show you the current value or the setting for that defrost mode. In this case, it's a demand defrost. So to change it, press and hold the enter button for three seconds. When you see that the red and amber LED lights are flashing, now you know that you can change this value. So you can press the up and down arrow buttons to see the different uh, options available to you. We see that a scheduled defrost is an option that's available to us, which is what we're wanting to use for this application. So press and hold the enter key button down for three seconds. Once the red and amber LEDs uh, quit blinking, now you know that this is the new value for this set point. You can now press the back button a few times to get back to the home point where the controller is now displaying the room uh, temperature and our process is complete. Thank you for viewing our video. If you have any questions or comments on the video or suggestions for future video topics, please contact us at www.ketotherm.com or by calling 636-266-0140.